for the union. As, as economists, we know the core, the center of unequal income distribution and unequal wealth distribution is entrepreneurship. That yes. is where the problem starts. Right, yeah. Those who are entrepreneurs usually accumulate a lot of money and others do not. So if we can increase participation in yeah. entrepreneurship, that would be the decisive point to Absolutely. change society and Absolutely. change all the inequality. I agree completely because uh, my own feeling is all human beings by birth is an entrepreneur. By birth. By it's, birth. It's, it's in the person. But society that we have created doesn't allow most of the people to bring out that gift they have inside of them. So they don't know that they have the entrepreneurial ability. So they look at it as if I don't know what to do, you tell me. So I work for you because I, don't, I have not discovered my own ability. So that's where we, society goes wrong. Society should encourage everybody to explore all the potential they have inside of them. It's a wonderful gift you have, but never unwrapped it never looked at it what you got so you don't know that is that's where we go we create the problem of inequality because by your own thinking you have remained little because you have not seen that you are big so if you have seen that if you have experienced that you could change your own life and contribute yeah. it to the society yeah. so this is what is missing yeah. so nobody will believe that so far in our society. You say everybody has the capabilities, Absolutely. even the ones that have not high education, that are not in the high-tech field. Absolutely. Everybody can become an entrepreneur. Absolutely. Even the beggar woman, even the beggar child on the street that you see in Bangladesh or India or in Africa, they are as much entrepreneur inside yes. as anybody in the world could be. Simply, they have never un open their box to find out it is there because they never knew that it had it is there society never allowed never facilitated that uh, unwrapping that gift so that's where we are going wrong otherwise uh, potential wise we have the same potential uh, some have uh, discovered or sketched a little bit of that potential some never knew what the potential is and what about the educational system? Usually we believe that the educational system is the one unwrapping the capabilities, the talents. Yes. Is, it, is it not doing well in this field? Yes, not only education, I will say appropriate education. Some education give, can give you a wrong mindset. Education can train you to prepare yourself to work for somebody. That's not a good education so far as entrepreneurship is concerned. Uh, entrepreneurship is something the education should tell you you could do things on your own but if you want as an option if you want to work for somebody else that's okay too but you can do it yourself you have the capability so education should also encourage you to think and find your own talent rather than just prepare as, as a kind of uh, steps to work for a little job in a uh, company or something and never found out that I could have done something else. So education has to be that open-ended so that it brings you all the opportunities. And information technology is very important. You explore your own thing yes. rather than what is in your textbooks. You don't go beyond your textbook. Information technology doesn't have a textbook. You design your own textbook, what you want to know about yourself, about the world, and what kind of thing you want to do itself. So today, information technology comes as a very powerful instrument in discovering yourself. So now the time is to really turn us all into entrepreneurs. What is your advice? What, where should we start with? Is my last question. Where should we start with here in our culture? Yeah, uh, starting point is always uh, at the personal level and creating institutions, creating uh, educational opportunities, creating websites so that individual person can go there and raise those questions. What am I doing here? I could have done this. I could do this. Why don't we explore this one much more? So this is what the encouraging individuals uh, to be themselves, discover themselves, explore themselves. That spirit of exploring oneself is the most important item. Whatever we can do to help it, that will be the best thing we can all do. Wonderful. Professor Yunus, thank you very thank much you. for this interview. Exactly. I will try my best yeah. with my students to thank put you. it into practice. Thank you so much. I appreciate thank you very much. Thank you.